Listen to that noise at the city ground. They have waited so long for that moment, Nottingham Forest. Their first Premier League victory back at home in the Premier League since May 1999. It was 1-0 that day as well against Leicester. It's 1-0 today against West Ham United and they are off and running back in the big time. West Ham have no points from their first six. But what a moment to cherish for everyone playing connected with Nottingham Forest football. Oh, without a doubt, 23 years have been waiting and uh, that crowd played their part. But I thought they deserved the win, actually, over the 90 minutes. They came out of the blocks really quick and uh, put West Ham on the back foot. Then West Ham's second half came out and had a go at them and, they, and they, they defended well. I was concerned last week what I saw up at Newcastle. I thought defensively they were poor. They were all over the place. They gave, it, gave too much space to Newcastle. Today they were, they were pressing the ball together as a team. And in the end, when West Ham were putting balls into the penalty area, that suited them. They defended well in the air against West Ham. And in the end, you've got to say they were the better team. West Ham had their chances. They had the ball in the back of the net. Yeah, for sure. And, and I'm sure if we, <laughs> from a West Ham point of view, they will be the, uh, they will be complaining because they had two great opportunities, two crossbars, very close to the goals and uh, uh, penalty saved. So they create some chances. I was expecting them more, actually, with the quality that they got in the team. I was uh, expecting them to be to, to produce more than they did. But in fairness, I mean, uh, Nottingham Forest, has, you know, played a fantastic match. They did what absolutely they needed to do and they get this point. And it's so nice to see somebody celebrating such a such a good day. Like Steve said. Cooper wins a Premier League game for the first time as a manager and that big moment for him and his team came just before half time. The timing was crucial. It was, yeah, yeah. It was a really good build up here. Toffolo does well, he pulls one back. You think Ling Lingard's going to score. It's a little bit of a good fortune, and the weenie just ends up getting, putting it in on his knee. Doesn't know too much about it, but he had a really good game. Probably, for me, man, the match, the best player for, uh, for Forrest. It just comes off his knee, but it's ended up in the back of that. Fabianski's gone for the cross. He's out of the game. They certainly are, and I think they deserve it as well. I mean, they, they had a little bit of a good fortune to have the goal disallowed, West Ham's, but they bounce back. Lovely skill from... Toffolo there, and I think you're thinking that Lingard's going to score from there. He misses, misses the ball, completely comes off his heel as it comes back to him. But uh, there he goes there, Owen Nini off his Nini, goes in the back of the net. We can see this, look, there's the miss hit. It just comes up there, pops right off the bony bit of the knee as well. Sometimes, you know, if it's the thigh and just above the knee, you can't get the power. And they had the break that they deserve, because I think they've been excellent in this first 45 minutes. And as a striker on your full debut with your new club, you take those, don't you? That's a, that's a dream. No, absolutely. And he has been the most dangerous one for, for them. Previously, he had a couple of chances in which he did very well. So. Uh, no, he, he, he performed well and the whole team played, played with a lot of energy. Uh, they, had, they had some, you know, they had to give some chances to West Ham, which they did, but, uh, but in the end, they, they, you know, they are, they are very close. Having said that, your former club thought they'd taken the lead through Ben Rama. What was your reading of this situation with the intervention of VAR? Yeah, I was talking to Glenn, I'm not that sure that uh, he was uh, intentionally a foul. Uh, I think, uh, in my opinion, uh, Antonio was trying to avoid the, the defender in there. But, you know, we have uh, different opinions We've got on different that. opinions, <laughs> actually. I think he takes him out like an NFL player. I, I think he changes direction. Antonio's coming. And the, the thing for me is that they want him to play. What, Mangala wants to close the ball on Rice. Look, he changes direction there, and I think he goes. He knows what he's doing, Antonio, and he gives Rice that time on the ball to pick out a lovely pass. There you go. There for me, he knows what he's doing. I think John Frink, if he tries to avoid him, he goes on the other side of him. He goes right, but he just darts back in and takes him out. I personally thought VAR that was a good decision. Yeah, Michael Salisbury and VAR recommending Rob Jones had another look. It was quick and decisive. You, you've got to say that at least. No, no, I give it. I give it. It's very, very close. In my opinion, Antonio wasn't even looking at the defender. He was looking for, for Declan, maybe to to give him to to have a run and receive the ball. And then all of a sudden, he found the defender in front of him and he tried to avoid it. That's my view. But I might be wrong.
That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> we can disagree all day long. I think you two might disagree with Spurs play Chelsea as well. <laughs> Forrest, you said they've been good value. You, you'd notice particularly down the right-hand side they've been a threat. Particularly uh, down this right-hand side, yeah. I mean, this comes from a set play, so they've got lots of bodies in. The beauty of this is the first time ball. You know, you can't pick up. It's, it's very difficult for defenders to pick up. It's a lovely spinning ball. And Owen Neely nearly gets himself in, in that top corner and nearly gets off the mark. Here again, Cresswell's got to get tighter quicker. They, they, you know, you sense they're putting crosses in. Owen Neely again, getting in between two defenders. He's on the shoulder of Zuma, I think it is there. And again, he gets the first header. All them balls are coming into the penalty area and it's, there's no West Ham header. There's nobody putting their head on the ball. It's, it, it, it's a forest player. No, absolutely. I have to say that also the, the quality of the delivery of, uh, of uh, Nico Williams has been excellent. Two, both, two balls, they were excellent balls, so we need to concede that. Again, West Ham, a little bit slow closing down. Cresswell can't go because he's got one on the outside, but that's too easy. And that, just outside your box there, Lingard's got that time and space to put a ball in. You're going to get caught out and he's, he's inches away or when they need from just getting a toe to it. So everything that first half has been about the big centre forward. It's been brilliant. And, uh, you know, what a way to start your new club. And this is when West Ham sort of come back. Yeah. No, absolutely. They had a lot of chances, uh, to be fair. The way they defended uh, the defenders and the goalkeeper was, uh, was, was great. This was actually the handball. But, yeah. uh, you know, again, they show how they defended. I remember there was another header where Nico Williams save in the line was incredible defending for him. Really. Right, still didn't catch it, did he? Goes, no. tries to show he's going in the opposite corner, drags it, and Henderson makes a really good save. Had a good game today. Looked really assured, didn't he? Uh, nice feeling for the back uh, back players, back five for, for Forrest when the, the goalkeeper they trust. But no. Um, not the best penalty Rice has ever yeah. taken, got to say. Yeah. So you reckon it's, it's a missed penalty rather than a good save? I think when you take a penalty and you miss, you hit the target and the goalkeeper saves it, I always think it's, you should score. That's mm. the pressure's always on the taker. So I, I think if he blasts that reel and catches it well, maybe the goalie doesn't get across. But I think if you hit the target and the goalkeeper saves it, it's always a good save, of course, but you should score. But he did save it, and the first game of the day is Nottingham Forest. They are off and running in the Premier League.